Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now you read the title, listen, this is a how-to video, how to cook a tomahawk steak on a Weber kettle grill. Hey, and especially for you beginners. Now I know it's all kind of stuff, you know, like that mystique, you know, that mystical uh, thing about doing a tomahawk uh, steak. And I think that's only because of like the price. You know what I mean? Don't let it bother you. It's very, very easy to do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw those times out. We're gonna make it where we, all we have to do is we worry about those internal temps. USDA recommends a minimum temp of steak to be 145 degrees Fahrenheit, which is classified by chefs as medium and by many steak lovers as overcooked. Medium rare, on the other hand, which is 130 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit, is the temp range at which steaks are at their most tender, juicy, and flavorful. Hey, so this is how we're gonna achieve uh, this perfection today. You gotta have yourself one of these, or one of these. And if I was gonna rate it, I'm gonna tell you to get yourself one of these, because this keeps you from lifting your lid and constantly using this to check your internals. With that being said, folks, we finna throw out them times. We are gonna use time only in the beginning just to get that sear. After we get that sear, then we are gonna go by what I say, folks? Boom. So, with no further ado, let's get it in. This is prime grade, Harris raised, aged Tomahawk steak. I'm seasoning and the only season I'm using it is just salt and pepper this is kosher salt then I hit it with pepper I flip it over I do the same simple your grill should be getting hot anywhere between 450 to 500 degrees now we're gonna apply the steak we're gonna put the steak down over the direct heat as you can see the coals right there, we just put it down, we close the lid, and we count off 90 seconds. After 90 seconds, then we come back, we reposition it, you just turn it, and what we're doing right here is we putting the grill marks or the grate marks on the steak. And then we're gonna count another 90 seconds. After a total of three minutes over the direct heat, we flip and we repeat. Now that you seared your steak for three minutes on both sides, you move the steak over to the indirect zone. That means away from the uh, heat. So insert your food probe inside so that you can get your reading for your internals. Make sure you have it in the center. Now here you can see, look, the internals of the steak right now is at 80 degrees. Now I'm gonna show it to you on the sender. You see where it says 81 and it's gonna to move to 82. Listen, I'm looking for 125 degrees because I move slow. By the time I actually get it off, it'll be about 132. So there it is at 125 and I start prepping, getting everything ready to take my steak off. Suggested when you sear it on both sides, I suggested you sear the edges then and not doing it the way that I did it right here. This is, I was just doing this because it, I just wanted the appearance to be just a little bit better. Now, after letting my uh, steak rest for about 10 to 12 minutes, it was time to go ahead and uh, cut the steak. You talking about steak that you can almost chew with your tongue, this is it. <laughs> 